So, folks, I'm still trying to absorb this, take it all in and figure out what it means. Um, I am not thrilled tonight. Uh, I've never been a big fan of Kevin McCarthy. A lot about him that, quite frankly, doesn't appeal to me. Uh, he's not really MAGA, career politician, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but he did become the speaker, and I thought he was doing a relatively good job, to be honest. Um, but right now, at this moment, we have a situation in America where we have no border, right? Uh, we have a culture where it's more permissible to talk about LGBT queer in the classroom rather than Christ. An unending war in Ukraine, a war we lost in Afghanistan, and all of these things you can lay right at the foot of Democrats, especially Joe Biden. And tonight, they are laughing at Republicans. They somehow, through all of this stuff, have the upper hand. And let's not forget, Joe Biden, <laughs> almost definitely a corrupt politician. And somehow, the Republicans are leaderless right now. That kind of doesn't make sense. I am all for, from time to time, shaking up the system. Totally. The system stinks. But at some point, you got to get stuff done. At some point, you got to look around. Eight members of Congress, just eight Republicans, and some of them I like, some of them I don't like, were able to basically overrule, what, 200, 200 plus Republicans? I don't know about this, folks. I don't know. Now, granted, Matt Gates, when he gets to that microphone, can be very persuasive. He's, he's good at debate. He's smart. I like the way he confronts uh, the swamp. And he did it again today. Chaos is Speaker McCarthy. Chaos is somebody who we cannot trust with their word. The one thing that the White House, House Democrats, and many of us on the conservative side of the Republican caucus would argue is that the thing we have in common, Kevin McCarthy said something to all of us at one point or another that he didn't really mean and never intended to live up to. This isn't a critique of the individual, it's a critique of the job. The job hasn't been done. We've had multi multiple contradictory promises. These last few days, we've suspended the momentum that we had established the week earlier where we were bringing bills to the floor, voting on them, staying late at night, working hard. That's what the American people expect. It's something Speaker McCarthy hasn't delivered, and that's why I've moved to vacate the chair. All right. Strong, powerful, persuasive. But so is the other side, the side that wanted McCarthy to keep his job. And I am beyond... Uh, proud of the, to represent my community before this Congress to stand with a leader who has consistently demonstrated an unwavering commitment to our country and to the principles that define us as Americans, Kevin McCarthy. Let's keep Kevin McCarthy our speaker. A great man, a great leader, a great speaker. Thank you, and I yield back. Under Speaker McCarthy's leadership, our House Republican majority has actually defied all odds and overperformed expectations again and again and again. So many Americans are better off because of Kevin McCarthy's leadership. I'm very proud of this speaker. I'm very proud to stand behind him. Tomorrow morning, whether I win or lose, I'm going to be pretty proud of the people I fought with, and I'm going to be extraordinarily proud of the person I fought for, the Speaker of the House, Kevin McCarthy. And we And there were others. Jim Jordan, who I really respect, he's, he's, he was for McCarthy. The overwhelming majority were for McCarthy, but the way the rules were set up, the, basically the standards they imposed on Kevin McCarthy to get the job, one person could start this process. Anyway, he spoke just a little while ago, and uh, yeah, he's leaving the speakership. Maybe Congress, but he didn't go that far tonight. I will not run for speaker again. I'll have the conference pick somebody else. I hope you realize that every day I did the job, regardless whether you underestimated me or not, I wanted to do it with a smile. He spoke for about 45 minutes. Very interesting. We'll go into a bit more detail later. He, uh, he got a lot off of his chest.